Will this be the thing that saves Rivian or will it put the nail in the coffin? Let's examine the bike to find out. So out of the three of us on the EMC team, I'm definitely the biggest Rivian fanboy. I just like how it's outdoors focused. So when I heard they were launching an e-bike, of course I was interested, but I wanted to check it out until I saw the price, which it starts at 4,000 for their budget model, but that only gets around 60, 50 to 60 miles of range. And their launch edition or performance model is 4,500 and that gets 100 miles of range. That price was a little shocking to me because when I looked at e-bikes before, I've seen them for one to $2,000 and then I've seen the super specialized downhill mountain bikes at like eight to $10,000, which is crazy to me. So the price might be justified since it's right in the middle of the cheap Chinese e-bikes and the very specialized downhill mountain bikes, but is it justified for a brand that has no recognition and that might not exist in a year? So Also's three main selling points for this bike are its torque specs, how modular it is, and its software. 